Number two, welcome back to WWE 2K23, my GM mode. I am your host, Attack Slug. Indeed, after two weeks, I am number two in the rankings, but it is indeed a precarious position because we have all new rivalries that need to be happening here on the show this week. And importantly, I made one major mistake on the show last week. And that indeed was the fact that because I included Dexter Loomis interfering in the main event that did not finish the level 4 rivalry. And they're at 18 stamina and 19 stamina and the fans are tired of that rivalry. So that's an issue to get them out of that and reset because we wanted to have a new challenger for Randy and put Roman in a different feud and it's not happening because of that whole thing with Loomis because that got me the power card and that is what happened there. Otherwise in low stamina certainly Waller whatever but Razor and Elia here are not doing great at 26 and 35 so also a thing to be considered about. From there on up it's fine but that problem means that we need to have say Ridge needs a new challenger Santos needs a new challenger, and I looked at the free agents, and our options here with the letter R in the name are not going to happen. So, what I decided instead was to say, you know what, let's bring in for week three some legends. Number one, The Undertaker is going to be here to fight Ridge Holland. So, dead man, come on down for five weeks. Also, for five weeks, to fight Escobar, as he is a specialist, Macho Man Randy Savage. Of course, this could all backfire, but I didn't have a lot of options here on this Raw is Restrictions playthrough, and what I had to do. And no, Brie, you're not coming back here, sorry. Which means we headlined the show, Santos Escobar, the Cruiser, and Macho Man Randy Savage, the Specialist, at some amazing stamina here with 95 and 79 and have a hell in a cell match because Triple H wants one even though he doesn't always want what's best for the show what's best for business I guess on his terms but sure Macho Man and Santos main event hell in a cell otherwise what have I promised oh I promised I promised a TLC match wait hold on let's perhaps change that let's give Santos TLC Let's open the show with Maurice going back to fighting Rhea Bloody Ripley and put those two in hell in a cell for that women's title. This show already getting quite costly. I have to interfere on behalf of Dexter Loomis. Am I even going to book Dexter Loomis? I don't know that I am, honestly. Let's head back to my power cards here and get that health spa number three for our champion, Randy Orton, at 18 stamina. That also means we can have our call-out promo from the modern-day Maharaja, who wants a piece of the champion, Randy Orton. Perhaps history will repeat itself. Let's book our U.S. title here, Ridge Holland, and that dead man for that title. And the final match we need to book on this show gets complicated because we've only got a lot of heels and not a lot of faces, and the classes don't quite match up in terms of booking Dexter Loomis, but I'm honestly not that concerned about Mr. Loomis. He's already got that smiley face, so if his morale drops, I think I'm okay. But we do need a match, so perhaps Seth freaking Rollins, who has plenty of stamina, takes on Ivar, who is the only face that actually has any stamina here. Otherwise, charity promo from Indy Harwell, and some advertising from Grayson Waller. Now I know, there is no tag team match on this show, but again, our tag teams need a week to rest for Razor and Elia before continuing that rivalry. And yes, uh, what does this look like in terms of my optional goals that are not being met here? So why would I even book this without having the optional goals to cost that much money? And so we head back to the CWC to save a little bit on the budget considering we're spending 123k on this broadcast. And I know I have the card for free arena booking, but I prefer to save those for the pay-per-views. 
And so locking in a wild raw to start our week out. It's going to be interesting. Let's freaking go. Opening with hell in a cell after having our pay-per-view of hell in a cell. We're doing one more because why not simulate will Rhea regain, she does, the championship. Back into it, four and a half star classic out the gate with the Nightmare, with the Eradicator, Rhea, Bloody, Ripley. Love it. Now then, Grayson Waller loses nine pop, gets a 15 grand, sure. Mid-card, Rollins and Ivar. Specialist versus Giant, heel versus Face. Ivar gets the win. It was two and a half, okay. Charity from Indy Hartwell, it was okay. U.S. title on the line. The debuting dead man here keeps rolling, rolling, rolling. Four stars amazing, but no rivalry. And again, and your main events. Tables, ladders, chairs, savage. You've done well so far, Santos, but here comes the cream of the crop. You may have survived Ivar, but can you survive the madness? Yeah. Cup of coffee, yeah. As a Macho Man goes to work here on Escobar, and will this one actually start a rival race? All I'm asking, like, come on. I need, besides Maurice and Rhea, I need, like, five, or at least four, solid rival races. We already have our tag team one, obviously. And Santa's gonna fly there. My voice is chopped from being sick. I'm sorry. Escobar begins the climb up the ladder. Well, Macho gets another ladder out, so he might not have enough time there to make that move happen. Mach, uh, one pip from Escobar, who's going the wrong way onto that. Only gets that one pip, and here comes the punches in bunches from Savage, who now can maintain some control here in this ladder match. And now for himself, perhaps grab the ladder, but that's dangerous. That's dangerous. So, and there goes the ladder, and here comes Escobar with the sickening thud on that solid steel, who pops right back up. All right, sure. Why not? Again. And on the steel again. Rough. And here we go again, top of the ladder. One hip remains. Macho could not quite get it done. Can he knock down Escobar and win this matchup? It's going to be real close. Next person who gets... Up here on the ladder is good, so if Matra falls here, it's kind of over. It's kind of over. Who will gain supremacy? Santos. Doing pretty well for himself here against the legend in Savage at... Oh, never mind. Both men go down. Can Escobar climb? Or will he be distracted by taking out Macho Man and proving his value to this brand of Monday Night Raw. And nah, see, he shouldn't have done that. Might just... No, hold on. Macho's rolling out. It's over. It's over. Like, that's just it. There's one pet. It's done. Santos continues his dominant reign here on Monday Night Raw. Four stars amazing. And so, over on SmackDown, Balor and Zayn take on Aziz and Olaf. And it is the Giants here, Aziz and Olaf. Three stars. Bailey gets three. Big Boss Man, Rangvald, and Diesel in a matchup for reasons. And the Boss Man gets it done. Mediocre, two stars. Boss Man and Rangvald, the new feud. Charity from the uh, Jobber, 3K. Shayna Baszler, Wendy Chu, I guess is the new thing here on SmackDown. Baszler gets the win, and yes, it is a new rivalry. Zoe Stark and the Jobber get a feud. Main event, tag team titles. Gargano, Ricochet versus Masai and Tone. Will we see new champions? Nope. Retained. Four stars amazing, and Ricochet hurt for weeks. NXT opens with a tag team titles match. Andre Chase, R-Truth versus Cameron Grimes and Karrion Cross, your champions. Again, retain? No, new champions. Truth and Chase, four stars, amazing. The Jobber calls out the Jobber. Mid-card women's tag team titles. Will, Becky, and Piper retain? No, new champions. Lita and Alexa Bliss, three and a half. It was great. Jake Roberts gets zero. Trust him, I guess. Extreme Rules NXT Women's Championship 
Blair, and Stacy. It is a new champion, Stacy Keebler. Amazing four stars. Quimby does charity. And your main event title match, John Cena MVP, NXT Championship MVP. New champion, four stars. I, th I think that was a, for a, I can't tell. It said title match for the thing there, so appar apparently not. But over on WCW, Tiffany Stratton and Mercedes are still doing the dang thing. Tiffany gets the win. It was great. Three and a half. Ronda Rousey calls out some jobber new rivalry. Mid-card, Bobby and Ludwig versus Butch and Ray back in action finally after being hurt for five weeks with his knee again. And it is Ludwig and Marquis. Two stars, mediocre. Logan Paul for charity. It was good. Mid-card, Batista and Ali versus Andre and Medical Beal. Standard match it is Batista and Ali. Three stars. Ivy Nile, charity. It was okay. And Damian Priest versus Sheamus in your main events with no titles on the line. Two, three, and it is Damian Priest with the win. It is four stars amazing, continuing that rivalry. And so, Raw has amazing booking. Also good for SmackDown, also amazing for NXT, and also good for WCW. And so, Raw gets 54k, hell of a show, and we make 23. So keeping that somewhat in line with our budgets, SmackDown does 47, worse than us, and they make 103, good lord. NXT does 58, better than us, and they make 81, better than us, good job NXT. And WCW does 53, kind of in the same uh, vein there, and make 95. And so, Power Card ensures retaining most of the fans this week. So a thing to use on PLE, I would imagine. Or the week after that. Also, Adam Pierce, you got Tony behind you and... Wait, where's your champions, Adam Pierce? Where's your... Cha what happened? Anyhow... We have maintained our number two position, but look at number three, behind by just a smidgen, like 3,000 or so. And we are trailing SmackDown by around 50k in the fans. So we still have a ways to go with three weeks remaining on this show. Meanwhile, Dexter Loomis, mad about it, don't care. Major decrease, oh well. And Taker wants to team with Randy. Look, you just got here. Randy's in rough shape. And no, you just won the U.S. title. That is your rivalry, dead man. I have other plans. Oh, okay. And Triple H wants one steel cage match this week. We shall see. I'm a tax lug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.